Good morning and welcome to worship uh, here at Grace Lutheran and wherever you may be gathering uh, for worship uh, here this morning. Uh, a special welcome to uh, all of those who may be tuning in for the first time. Uh, today is a special day uh, in the life of the church. Today is uh, All Saints Sunday in which uh, we give thanks and remember uh, those saints uh, who have died and are living eternally, as well as those uh, saints uh, living among us. Uh, so today we will uh, take that opportunity uh, to give thanks uh, for their memories. Uh, I would invite you uh, at this time, uh, if you haven't yet, uh, to get a, a candle uh, of your own. Uh, as you see, uh, in, just, uh, in just a few minutes, we will be lighting uh, a candle for each of those uh, who have died, as well as uh, each of those who have been baptized uh, uh, that are members of, of this church. Uh, throughout the last year, from All Saints uh, 2019 through All Saints uh, here today. I would also invite you uh, that uh, we will be having communion uh, during the service, so I would invite you to get out uh, some bread and some wine or grape juice uh, to participate and partake uh, in receiving the sacrament. Uh, there are a couple ways that you can do this. You can do it from home. Uh, and also for, uh, for future reference, uh, you can also call uh, the church or email the church and make an appointment for you to come and pick up uh, some of the communion cups uh, that we have uh, on the altar behind me uh, in the box. Uh, and we can provide you with any number of uh, communion uh, elements that you might want. Uh, and we can also offer uh, communion to you in that way. Uh, with that, uh, let us uh, prepare our hearts and minds for worship. begin our service this morning in the same way that we live, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, on All Saints Sunday, we give thanks to the saints around us. Blessed are those who are alive through baptism into Christ. Help us to persevere in our journey of life and faith as we serve the Lord our God. We remember those who have been baptized during this past year. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, we become children of God and are made members of the Church, the body of Christ. Living with Christ and in the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. We celebrate with those who have been baptized during this past year, including Parker Stoley. Bless these children, their parents and sponsors, and this congregation that we may faithfully share your love and peace with each other. We also remember those who have died during this past year. We do not want anyone to be uninformed about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. We remember now those who have died during this past year, including Dick Bevis. Chester Ojala. Miriam Fussell. Lois Struna. Andre Widmer. Jane 
Johnson. Stan Turney.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joy you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel, according to Matthew, the fifth chapter. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter, utter all kinds of evils against you falsely, on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of our Lord. Person. 
We have to do these and many other things at a distance, over the phone, over a video call. For some among us, we have had to learn how to say goodbye to people in our lives who have died that we did not think would have done so, so soon. We've had to learn how to say goodbye to people in ways we never imagined that we would. Saying goodbye to our loved ones over the phone rather than in person, in the hospital, or in the care facility. Saying goodbye with a nurse holding the phone to our loved one's ears, hoping that they can hear us. Saying goodbye at funerals and memorial services held in the cemetery rather than inside the sanctuary of our church because it was not safe to do so. This year has caused us and continues to cause us great distress. Our ways of mourning, our ways of giving thanks for our loved ones has changed. My hope and my prayer for you, for all of you, who have either lost someone this year and had to say goodbye to your loved ones and in ways you have never imagined that you would, that you are able to mourn today, that you are able to tell stories today, to grieve, and to laugh. And in the days, weeks, and months ahead, to be reminded and to know the promise of the resurrection is real, is active, and is with you, comforting you. Our Lord is with you. The promise of the resurrection is not just for those who are dying, but for those who are living here among us, for those who are grieving, whether it's over someone who has died in the past year or for that special person in our lives who has died in years past. May you experience new life, just as your loved ones are experiencing new life in Christ, as they live eternally through the same promise of the resurrection. Today, as we observe all saints and give thanks to the many saints our lives, we turn to a familiar passage, Matthew 5, the beginning of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. These are familiar words to us spoken by Jesus. These words comfort and challenge us. First, the Beatitudes listed in verses 3 through 12 set the tone for the rest of Jesus' ministry throughout the rest of Matthew's Gospel. That Jesus pays close attention to those who are rejected, vulnerable, and outcasts. In fact, just prior to the beginning of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Jesus welcomes the very people he now names. The sick, the poor, the demoniacs, the paralytics, and all those with diseases, those in pain, and cures them. Second, this example by Jesus from the outset of his ministry and in Matthew's Gospel, is a way for us, God's church on earth, to live out our callings and our ministries in a local and global church. This is more than a reminder for us to try just a little harder in our ministries. This is an invitation by Jesus to name the present realities of our world. This is an invitation by Jesus to imagine what it might look like for God's kingdom to come into our world in this time, and in this place. This raises the stakes for us. These Beatitudes are challenging us to consider who is blessed in the first place, who is worthy of God's attention, and who deserves our compassion, our own attention, our respect, and our honor. These Beatitudes take our notion of who is blessed and who deserves our attention and compassion and challenges us to see God in those who might otherwise be ignored. Jesus is inviting us to question our culturally born identities, what we base our decision-making processes in, and our worldview, so that we might consider how the world is seen not through our own eyes, but through the eyes of God. Finally, as we hear these familiar blessings from Jesus and as we observe All Saints Day, we remember.
remember the promise of this day. All Saints observes the past, the present, and the future. Promises of resurrection and of new life for those living and those living eternally. We hold tight to these promises. May they give us hope for our dearly departed loved ones, for those of us still in our pilgrimage here on earth, and for those saints in our lives that are yet to come. Today, I leave you with questions and promises offered by, by Bishop Michael Reinhardt of the Louisiana Gulf Coast Synod for you to ponder on your own and to come back to as we give thanks to the saints in our lives. If you are interested, I'm happy to provide you the link to this uh, as, as he offers this reflection. Bishop Mike writes, who are your saints? Who went before you? Who held your hand? Who taught you to walk? Who picked you up when you fell down and bandaged your wounds? Who are your saints? Who taught you to pray? Who brought you to the baptismal font? Who placed the Bible in your hand? Who first taught you the words, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Who taught you to see flowers and trees not as things, but as beautiful mysteries. Who taught you to see majesty in clouds and sunsets and oceans. Who taught you to soak, up, to soak up the rainy days? Who taught you kindness to strangers? Who taught you to love your enemies? Who taught you that it is better to give than to receive? Who taught you to love your neighbor as yourself? Who taught you to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, welcome the stranger, visit the sick, and those in prison? Who taught you to care for those who are hungry, broken, or lonely? Who taught you that Jesus was the reflection of the immortal God? Who are your saints? Who taught you to love? Who taught you to give of yourself in order to discover what life was about? Who taught you that it was okay to fail, that falling down was a part of life? Who taught you to get up, dust yourself off, and get back on the horse? Who are your saints? Light like him. Who taught you to do what you love? Who helped you discover your true gifts in life and develop them? Who loved you when you could not love yourself? Who showed you grace and forgiveness you did not deserve? Who taught you to forgive and to let go of grudges? Who believed in you when you did not believe in yourself? Who are your saints? Who taught you to hope beyond this life? Who taught you that there is more to life than meets the eye? Who taught you to imagine what lies beyond the veil, around the bend where you cannot see? Who waits for you? beyond the grave? Who whispers to you in your dreams and in your prayers? These are the ones we remember today. These are the ones for whom we light our candles. The communion of saints who wait for us on a distant shore we cannot see over the horizon. The multitude of apostles, prophets, martyrs, and saints even the flawed, deeply flawed saints. So let us say our prayers and light our candles. For the saints we remember, for the saints that we barely remember, from times that are only a misty memory, and the saints we cannot remember at all, for those we knew and those we never knew, countless generations before, for those who loved before our parents were alive, 
whose love brought us into being, and those who wait for us with joy, who from their labors rest. And let us look once again with the eyes of a child at a world of mystery that is larger than life, larger than we can imagine, higher than we can reach, deeper than we can see. And let us live in the hope of one day being reunited with those whom we love. On that day when we awaken, like babies being born again, opening our eyes for the first time, taking our first breath in a world we cannot begin to understand, embraced and loved by those whom we can almost see as through a mirror dimly. But one day, we shall see face to face. Blessed be their memories. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Join in singing hymn number 728.
Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, the maker of all things. Through your goodness you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us in what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love, through the one who gave himself for us. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. God of the Incarnation, continue to remind us of your presence among us. Be especially with those affected by COVID-19, those who are sick, hospitalized, and all those who have died. The families affected, and all those in the medical profession called to care for us when we are sick. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of creation, in the midst of the beauty of your good creation, we know that destruction can come. Be with those affected by natural disasters, especially those dealing with wildfires in California, those dealing with hurricanes in the Gulf Coast, and those preparing for harsh winters. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, call us to peace and bind us together in unity. Guide the leaders of the nations in your way of wisdom, compassion, and care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of new beginnings, we give thanks for our bishops. We give thanks for Bishop Tom Aiken and the 12 years of faithful ministry as our bishop. Today we give thanks for Bishop Amy Audrey as she assumes the office of Bishop of Northeastern Minnesota Synod. And we join together in giving thanks for the ministry we have done as a synod and the ministry that lies ahead of us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, help those who are hurting in mind, body, or spirit to know that you are present in the midst of distress. Today we especially lift up Erica, Lyle, Amy, Zach, Byron, Doris, Eli, Brian, Vicki, Alice, Shannon, Beverly, Dick, Mary Lou, the family of Renee Lassie, and all those we may now allow for the silence of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of every time and place, we give thanks to you for the communion of saints. We give thanks for those living saints who continue to influence our lives. Bless these relationships. We give thanks for those saints living eternally. Bless their memories to those whom they touched. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. I invite you to share a sign of peace with one another in the comment section. After the service, I also invite you to uh, be in touch with family and friends and offer a time to pray for, for and with one another. As we enter into this time of communion, I invite you to have some bread and grape juice or wine uh, at the ready. Uh, if, remember, if you are worshiping on your own at home, you may receive the bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ. As I say, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. If you are worshiping with others, you may serve each other using these same words as you serve each other. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. In the night which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come to the table of the Lord, for all are welcome. We join together in singing our communion hymn, hymn number 493.
You have become what you have received, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive the benediction. May God bless you with discomfort and easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, so that you may live deep within your heart. God bless you with anger and injustice, oppression and exploitation of people, so that you may work for justice freedom, and peace. God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer pain, rejection, hunger, and war, so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and turn their pain into joy. And God bless you with enough foolishness to believe that you can make a difference in the world, so that you can do what others claim cannot be done, to bring justice and kindness to all our children and poor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We join in singing our sending hymn in number 427, For All Your Saints, O Lord.
together uh, to worship and give thanks uh, to God for those saints who have died and are now living eternally and those saints living among us. I invite you after worship uh, here today to call uh, just at least one of those saints who are living among us and living in your life uh, and offer uh, an update on how your life is going, offer a time to pray for one another. Also, I would uh, be remiss if I did not remind you uh, to continue to love your neighbor, uh, wearing a mask, maintaining social distance, staying home whenever possible, and washing your hands, and frequently using hand sanitizer to keep one another safe. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.